Hey, up, welcome back to Having a Blast. Last week we took a look at Leia's section on the Sega Saturn and compared it to the Nintendo Switch version of the game. This time we're going to be taking a look at Leia section 2 on the Saturn, um, which is the sequel to the game, which is a 3D shmup on the system. I, this is my copy from when I was a child. I did play this game a lot, really do enjoy it as a shooter. But um, what's been recently brought to my attention, and I never knew about this, is because I was too much of a Sega fanboy to know it existed on a PlayStation. And the year before, the game came out under the name of Raystorm. So I picked a copy of that up as well, because as soon as I found out, I was like, well, I'm going to have to try the PlayStation version, because it's clearly going to be superior. I'm not fanboying here, but it was a better machine for 3D. So I'm expecting that to be better than the Sega Saturn version. So we'll have a quick blast on them both, but we're going to start off with Raystorm on the PlayStation as I've never played this one before. So we'll just flick that on and get on. So here we are, we're just going to go with the uh, default settings. We're going to go, in fact, I'm going to go to options first and turn the difficulty down because I'm not very good at this. Let's uh, just crank that uh, right down there to not gamer standards of uh, difficulty. I'm not saying I'm going to get to stage eight, but you never know. Um, Oh, it's changed the title screen. Nice. Um, so on to arcade mode. Yes, we know that. I'm not booting that on a power machine whatsoever. Uh -huh. So here we are. We've got a selection of two ships. We've got the R Grey 1 um, and the R Grey 2, originally named. We're going to stick with the default ship. Um, we're going to go with manual to start with and see if I can actually get on with this. It's got a lock-on system very similar to the original layer section. We lock onto the enemies, press the uh, missile button to shoot those off, and you get all main fires on a separate button. And you, in this one, you think you do get one bomb, uh, which is your SP attack, which does charge up um, as you kill the enemies. So there we go, lock on, fire. It's been a very long time since I played it on the same Saturn as well, so I can't really sit here making comparisons at the moment. But this is very nice. It's um, just as nice as I remember, to be honest. The music's very clear. The graphics are nice and uh, def well defined for the machine and the resolution it's pumping out. I always try to play these on original hardware as well, so you get a feel for exactly um, what you've got. In store if you get it on the, um, on the original machine instead of emulating. Now the red enemies always tend to spit out power-ups so make sure you get them. A lot of the power-ups on this game just <laughs> drift past me as I'm avoiding uh, shots. Oh, I'm doing quite well considering I've not played it for a long time. Some some games just, uh, just stay with you don't they? Boss time. Oh, yeah, avoid that fire attack, and then he shoots missiles at you out the uh, four compartments on the top of the wheels. There we go. Oh, let's use my super. Use my SP attack to see where that gets us. Oh, 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 oh. Watch out for that. Oh, he's crafty. Back, mate. Hey, there we go. So the first boss is down. We'll do a couple of levels on the PlayStation version and then we'll flick over to layer section and have a blast on that as well. Excellent shoot em up. Um, either way, I don't know which one of these is the cheaper. I think Raystorm was much cheaper to pick up than Layer Section 2. I got that for about 23 quid, which I didn't think was too bad. It's uh, the, the, the manual was slightly tatty, but I, to be honest, I just wanted to see what the game was like on the PlayStation, so I bought the cheapest one I could. Disc works fine. Having a blast here. It's nice. Forget to collect those red power-ups. Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> Not collect the red bullets. Okay. Do remember on this, if you don't take out the submarines that you can just see under the water there, um, then they they launch some pretty nasty rockets that you may fall prey to. Which I probably will in a minute. Can break these. That guy is another one 
point. Yeah. I like the nice ripple effect on the water. It's very um, soothing. Nice and, so nice and calm and soothing. Take these guys out. Try not to get attacked. Yeah, I'm impressed with this. I do remember the Saturn version did suffer from a little bit slow down. Um, I've not seen any in this yet, which is uh, which is promising. These cannons always take me out with those slightly homing bullets. Ah! <laughs> what happens when you get toasted? Oh, oh! Ah. Second boss starts on him from a height already before he even gets going. First lot are going to get me. Right, we'll use a super again. Nice SP attack. Rid of these. Oh, and they got rid of me. So that's two credits down. We're going to flick over to auto to see if that makes a difference. Try to save my ass. No, it, <laughs> it makes no difference, mate. SP attack again, see if we can uh, finish this car before it laser cannons me again. There we go, down he goes. See you later, buddy. Nice, nice, I really am enjoying that. And I'm very eager to pop the Saturn version on and see how it, uh, how it fares up against that. So you know what, we're not gonna get into level three, I'm gonna pause that there. I'm gonna flick over to the Saturn version, which means get it off my ass and pressing the button on the switch box, which is annoying. Yeah, the magic of pressing a button. We'll flick a controller to this little guy um, and play it on the Saturn. So we'll do a couple of levels on the Saturn. Get myself sat in his chair nice and straight because I'm sat like a, a prat. Um, and see how it weighs up to the two levels we've just played on the PlayStation. So let's just watch this intro play as I flick myself to the right source on the TV. I'm really good at this, mate. There we go. You can already see the frame rate is a little bit slower than the PlayStation, and you got a bit of bit of slow down as it spun around there. Game looks much more colourful, but um, that's about all. Obviously, it's it's suffering from the usual transparent effects and struggling like a Saturn would struggle because it's a very weird machine. But commendable nonetheless against the PlayStation version. Let's load up the first level. What I do remember on this version as well, there are, there are a few extra features over that. This did come out a year later than the PlayStation version. Um, so we have normal mode and attack mode. Attack mode is just, I think you get unlimited lives and it's just what's the best score can you get on that level. Um, so we'll just jump straight into normal mode. Bit of start button, it's all pretty much the same so far. The difference you get here, you've got the R Grey 1. And the new ship at the end, the R Grey Zero. This uh, ship doesn't have an SP attack, but it has much, much better attack power. So we'll pick this because it seems to be a uh, ship only available in the Saturn version. And we'll jump on auto because my performance is lackluster at this. Here we go. Albion DU Earth. And you see the Sega Saturn version, um, again, it has extra bits. It has these cutscenes in between the levels that you don't see in the PlayStation version. At least I didn't see in the PlayStation version. I swear I've not been pressing start to skip anything. 
Um, so I don't know if you get a cutscene if you leave it running long enough at the beginning of the game or if you get one at the end. But these are nice enough. The quality is decent for a Saturn. I mean, I've seen much, much worse video from the machine. But we won't go into that. Those games are best left getting dusty on the shelf. And a nice loading screen. We're treated to a different loading screen as well. Game still shifts along at a nice rate. There we go. Take these guys out. It's pretty much the same game. Obviously, the Saturn does struggle at pulling off some of the effects that, that the PlayStation can do by default. In this case, they're replaced by the usual meshes, which can be a bit jarring if they're large on screen. Um, in this case, it's not so bad. The game's chugging along nice. It doesn't seem to have hit many big frame rate stutters yet. Perhaps I'm giving it a hard time and my nostalgia filter isn't working as it should. So <laughs> I'm having the same amount of fun I was having a minute ago, but on a different controller. The sound, uh, the music is still CD quality like the PlayStation version, but what I'm getting is from the sound effects, it, they do sound slightly muffled. We go down to the first boss. Uh, we can get this guy get as lucky as we did on the PlayStation. But again, using this chip, I don't get a SP attack. You can see it says at the top, no equip. So you've got to be careful. There's no way to get yourself out of that horrible spot using your SP attack. Because it's not there. So I'll just be warned with using this ship. It's a little more difficult, but it does deal out much more damage. See, the effects just aren't quite as good, but it's still it's still moving at a passably playable frame rate. It does slow down ever so slightly, you can see here. But not enough to uh, detract from the gameplay too much. The controls are still nice and punchy, just uh, you do drop some frames. So there we go, the first level done. Pretty much the same, I do like this. On both formats, to be fair, but the PlayStation One just noses it on the uh, on the old 3D performance, which can make all the difference when you're in a, in a tight spot or a fast, fast level. One difference we can see here is the ripple effect on the water is slightly different. Um, it looks more like sort of changing textures than a than a real ripple effect like we got before. But it still achieves virtually the same goal, and you can see through the water at the submarines, which uh, which is nice because I'd have hated this level to be a giant mesh-filled um, sort of water mess. So they did really well here. Just take these guys down, and not forget about these subs again. Over these guys. I mean, it's great. <laughs> it's playing it virtually the same. It's this game plays into the console's strengths here by changing some of the effects, um, so that does help it slightly. But the PlayStation version again just just edges it. This this one just seems to have slightly more content. But as you can see, when the slowdown bites, I mean here, it's it's really noticeable. And to be honest, sometimes when it gets bad, it makes it very easy to avoid bullets and stuff, or very easy to move into them because you're moving so slowly across the screen. These cannons out again. Remember that guy got me last time. Oh, oh, that was lucky. Got a few uh, pop shots in at the boss. Oh man! Down again. The effect still does look quite nice, but it, it does lose something over all of what we saw before. Let's see if we can take this guy down with a little less fuss. Bear in mind this time I do not have an SP attack to, to sort these out at the beginning. Let's try and be clever. Ah, I'm not very clever. Then we lost to continue. So we're going to go back to the RG1. 
just so I can get that attack back. There we go. It does cause the game to uh, slow down somewhat. When you use the SP attack. Oh, man, you're giving me a hard time. Right, let's, uh, let's, <laughs> let's not lose another continue on this boss. Come on, not scare Get your finger out, mate. Full again. World ending slowdown in progress. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Straight bullet. Which means we get to do this again. Die, Mr. Boss. I mean, none of it, is he? There we go. So that's the second level done. We'll do the third level now on the Saturn. Flip back to the PlayStation and have a blast on that. The games are virtually identical uh, in terms of how they play, just performing different performance issues. Um, on each machine. Saturn has these lovely extra cutscenes to make up for the fact that it slows down a bit, but the PlayStation 1, like I keep saying, is better. I mean, I've said it during this video already, I think this one is better. This has got nice cutscenes, shiny extra ship, but this one's better. Did I ever tell you I'm a Saturn fanboy? And uh, this one's better on the PlayStation, mate. Nice cutscenes, though. But this one's better. I like this one, but this one's better. Okay, let's play the next level. You do get some nice loading screens here. I don't think you get those on the PlayStation, but I think the PlayStation version loads faster for some reason. I'm not going into measuring that, I'm just checking game performance. And I mean, this, you see, more often than not, it hits the frame rate, so it's okay. But when the game does get chaotic, it, it does chug a little, but. Sometimes it makes these guys quite easy. Oh, this doesn't kill me. Hold <laughs> on, a nice fast rate on there. Watching you, mate. Not shooting me. Oh, you yeah. <laughs> are! That was a waste. Should have waited until this guy showed up. Sorry guys, game face, concentrating, there's bullets everywhere. Sorry, I could just zone out right here. Go. Ah, I think the boss of this level will um, give us an interesting interesting look into a, a badly used effect on the Saturn. Not me nitpicking, but you're going to see it because this boss is going to shoot me with its big laser cannon. Down the water before we go. Here he is. Mr. Irritating Boss himself. This one does get on my nerves a bit. He's, uh, he's, he's got every attack in the book. There we go. Watch out for the barrels, and then he comes up. And here we go. Here he's going to do it. Ooh, that's not as good as I thought it would look. But still, it didn't get me. It didn't get me. The mine's mad. Destroy them. Watch out again. For the things he dropped. Ah! <laughs> He's relentless. He's attack after attack. He's very, very crafty, this guy. I'm going to stick with auto because I'm doing so badly. There we go, that's got rid of him. And a cheeky full power up for the next level. A cheeky drink, that's good. Mm. I mean, some of the loading screens aren't much to write home about, but they're different, and they're there. But this one's better! August, third fleet. Oh, that's a nice space level. There we go, we've picked up some pace now. How many of these ships are going to wipe me out? I'm not doing too badly. 
I do remember you come across some that fire massive laser beams and like you get about four or six lasers bombed down the screen towards you and if you're in the wrong place they go straight through you mate. Ah, oh, speak of the devil. Oh, <laughs> it got me as well. I know about these. I know how to avoid them but uh, yeah they get you every time. Get you every time. Crafty, crafty. Again, yeah, sort of you out maze another laser one. Oh, he got me again! <laughs> oh, some mines on this. Some mines. So, I mean, all the chaos of the game is pretty much intact in, spe intact in space here. And that's a thing. This was the one I played a lot as a kid. So, perhaps I am. Uh, I'm a little more fond of this version again, but it's not the version that I prefer. This one is better! Let's kill this guy, and then we'll flick back to the game that's better. Not only is this guy better, he's cheaper. I checked out the prices on layer section 2, and it's not about. <laughs> it's not £40 anymore, guys. I picked up about 15 years ago for about 40 quid. It's, it's, it's a bit more than that nowadays, so making, after that last video I did, making the Switch version much more attractive to buy. Uh, in, the, in the fact of this game, I don't think it's it's been released or getting a release yet. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'd love to see these games released in a modern compilation. That'd be awesome. But till then, I will play this and I will play Rainstorm, which is better. I've really got to stop doing that, <laughs> I got killed again. <laughs> Let's do it. Wipe these guys out. Pretty sure now we get some giant, big ass spaceship. There we go. No shoot em up would be complete without you taking on a giant spaceship and blowing pieces of it up. Pieces of it up. Um, I remember doing that probably the first time I ever did that in the shoot em up. I'm not saying it's the first time we've done in the shoot em up. The first time I experienced that in the shoot em up was R type on the master system when I was a kid and it took me weeks to, <laughs> to get past that stage with the ship on uh, because you got to the point where you're at the end and then you flew backwards over the top of the ship and I just couldn't get my head around it um, <laughs> until the day I worked out I could put the little orb on the back of the ship and then just plod backwards through there and kill everything um, what a, yeah just one of the gaming memories that sticks me forever because back, you couldn't look it up on the internet back then. You just had to get to that level and trial and error as to how to get through it. But uh, yeah, a lot of fun memories of that game. We've lost another continuum. We're down to four continues. We'll flick to the RG2. This ship was slightly different. It had more of a sort of a lightning bolt attack, which is cool. But it did have more lock-ons than the other variants. So perhaps it's more useful in that regard. Not very useful to me there, is it? No, you didn't help me at all, mate. I've still got the same SP attack, which was pointlessly wasted there. So there was an attack on that fleet all the way back there that I don't think is uh, posing me any threat. So it's just ahead of the ship to go. We've got to watch out for these. Can't give you a hard time. Let's take it up. More ships. Finish this guy off. Come on, mate. So there we go. That's the uh, the boss killed at the end of that level. Let's flick back to the PlayStation version and uh, just pick up where we left off. Which means doing this level again, but it's a good way to compare it really quickly, I suppose. A lovely game. On either format. Lovely game. Lovely game. But this one's better and cheaper. I can stop doing that. Yeah, the cutscenes though. The, the cutscenes were an added thing. They're not um, really... They don't really add a substantial amount to the package. But uh, it's something that wasn't there on the version. That's better. Um, but they look nice enough. And you've got the lovely tunnel that everyone in the 90s used to convey moving through, move it, moving through space or time. Panzer Dragoon did it. No Man's Sky still does it when you warp in between um, star systems. 
it's just that effect for transitioning. Everybody uses it, it's great. So there we go, we are now in super deep space with asteroids attacking us. But that's where we're going to leave it after this uh, rather bland loading screen. So we're going to leave it at Cathage Base and we're going to flick back to the PlayStation version and pick it up from there. So over to the flicky flick switch box. Flick at the switch. Ugh. Plunk my fat ass back in a chair. Pick up the pad that's the same colour as the background. So uh, here we are back with the PlayStation version. We've just uh, started this level. Right, here we go. Yeah, it, it is a, a much faster frame rate this game runs at. It is, as I keep saying, consistently, my friends, this game is better. Nice and fast. And this, I mean, the game carries the same level of detail on both formats, so the still of the game will look the same, unless you've got a big explosion that's transparent. But anyway, I, <laughs> I've got to stop moaning about that. These are awesome, and I'm really bad at this one. As you can see, back on here, you only have RG1 and 2, so we'll flip to RG2 here. Try this guy out. Forgive me, it's getting a little warm in here on auto. There we go. And it looks much better. Much better, the effects. But we knew that would be better. Just like this are playing out at a high frame rate, so I've got to watch out for those bullets now. They do move slightly faster. Watch out for those planes. They just make a beeline for you, it's a... like that. Back to this lovely boss. <sighs> yeah, he just he does everything faster. <laughs> and I am not used to it. <laughs> it's just too difficult. There we go. See that does look better when done correctly, doesn't it? Not getting him in this time. Those beams are faster. Everything's faster. I can't do it! I love it. This game's better, by the way. Aha! Watch you that time, mate. Lose. Explosive barrels that he drops out. There we go. This boss is down. Onward into outer space to take on that big flipping spaceship that we took out a minute ago. And have a quick drink. And hopefully, uh, we'll see me through. August 5th, 2019, August 5th, 2019 Third Fleet, Earth Orbit. Here we go. How will we fare on this version? Because everything is so much faster! Love it. What you have to be careful about when you're on auto as well is the fact that your bullet will stray to all those random ships in the background. Um, but before it comes back to the target you really want it to take out. Oh, I survived that one. Get out of the way of that one. Deep concentration face, mate. Let's do it. Oh. See, look, you see, the little purple bullet has now wandered off into the background to uh, go and pick on that ship that's just minding its own business instead of the one that's trying to kill me. Thank you, I love that power up. I just missed another one. Oh. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I was doing so well avoiding them. Back to the RG. I'm not too keen on the, um, the second ship. I prefer this one. I 
really do like getting run into by though. That's cool. Have to waste it. Gonna have to waste it. Collect the power-ups, collect the power-ups. Game face, guys. Busted back. Here we go. Got four credits left. How many will we have at the end of this? Yeah, the, the, the level seems to have a bit more depth and detail in the background over the Saturn version. Saturn have a few low-burst assets in the background. This seems to have a nice skybox going off. Space. Skybox in space. Space box. There we go. That was a nice space box going down. I still got killed by those lasers. So I'm going to save that SP attack for the next lot of enemies that got me last time. Ah, it's to miss that bit. Just waiting on this instead. Ah! That was a bad decision, Nuts Gamer. Oh, these again, you see, I was going to do that now, so they didn't obliterate me with that. That worked. That worked. It worked. It's rocketed. And then up here we have the lasers, don't we? We're going to get rid of these. Or have we got them all already? No, we haven't got any of them. We're in trouble. I just flew into the. I flew into that one. Yeah, you, the game is much more stable on the PlayStation. It's better. It's much more stable on the PlayStation than the Saturn version. Watch out for those lasers. Oh, I just flew into it again. Think of this magnetic mate. So we've destroyed this guy. He's gone. Let's see how far we can get on these three credits to the end of the game. August 6th, 2219. Beige, Cecilia Orbit. There we go. So this is where we left off on the Saturn, and this is the PlayStation version we're on now. But, um, don't think we're going to make it through this level, ladies and gentlemen, so we'll be flicking back to the Saturn one rather soon. As I just suck at this. It's much faster, and my muscle memory just can't hack it because I played the slower version of the game, and I am struggling. But I do want to spend more time because it's just much more fluid. So much better to play. It's better! Um... <laughs> no more lasers! Oh, okay, the little red dot got me. There we go, mate. I'm just going to use this because everything seems to be killing me at the moment. <laughs> you don't want to continue after this. You can do it. Okay, let's get rid of that. Collect some of these to give myself an advantage. These guys out before they sort me out. Up oh, Cannon City. Here we go. Go to view. Oh! <laughs> this is not my day for schmops, guys. Play section two. It's great. But <laughs> play it for yourself. I'm not very good at it. Cannon's there in the corner. Oh shit! Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. There we go. So we're down to one life and one credit. Will we pass this level? Ooh. No, we won't. No, we won't. what are these? Ah! <laughs> what are these? I don't remember these. Oh no! 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 Oh man. So. Here we go, Nantes Game is down to his last continue. Pick our G1, remaining auto, see how we go. 
got to at least make it to the boss of this stage. Go for the power up, and then it's in death. Ah. Get rid of you, mate. I do want to survive to the, to the boss. The game doesn't want me to. No. Come on, I've got to make it to the boss. It can't be far. It can't be far. Mate, I'm not even going to try and fight you. See you later. <laughs> I want to get to the boss. This guy is absolutely nails hard. Are you ready for me to die quite quickly? He's got that lovely homing attack that the, uh, the giant ship had on the previous level. Nice of him. He's got two of those great big laser cannons on his shoulders from the boss prior to that. And he's got leg rockets and all sorts of stuff. And this guy really is a tough cookie. Yeah, he's got that as well. So there you go. Nuts Gamer makes it up to fourth on the scoreboard. And uh, no. and, uh, to, and uh, sir. We'll flick back to the Saturn version. <sighs> right. Back with the Saturn version. We've run out of credits on the better version. So we're back with uh, layer section two on the Saturn. And I am not unhappy that we're back with it because it's still a bloody great game, guys. But this one is better. And I've got to stop doing that now. Okay, let's carry on. We left at Carthage Base in Sicilia orbit on August the 6th, 2219. So let's go. Detail is just as good, but uh, we'll stop waffling about the differences now because it's abundantly clear what the differences between the two games are. We're just going to see if we can get any further on the Saturn version. So the boss of this level is the guy. Is he the guy that wipes us out? I've got to really start paying attention now. Game phase, guys, and stop running into asteroids and bullets. And we'll find out. super there because... Uh, why not? I sure should have saved it for him. Oh, come on! Flipping laser ships. You get me every time. I'm just, uh, I'm just a sucker for it. So, mines, they got me last time. These guys coming from under here as well. Guys can pop out there. Whoa, there we go. Bullet City again. Well, those bullets are definitely flying towards me, but look at that <laughs> slowdown. Here we go. Let's increase the slowdown. That's probably the worst performance you get from this game while playing. That part is so chaotic, and if you throw in a uh, SP attack there as well, the game just uh, just doesn't like it. It doesn't like it one bit. Take these guys out again. Remember the turrets in the corners because they are always tend to catch me now. Guys from underneath as well. A little crafty to get them. Move the vibrating phone because it's been vibrating for quite a while now. We lost a credit. Sorry. There we go. So back to the. Uh, let's go back to the RG Zero. Uh, and see if we can get any further with this guy. So these are in both versions of the game, I just couldn't remember this enemy. And, uh, rightfully so, because it's a little git. It's a little git! Yeah, we've got you, mate. <coughs> it's all the ones that come in between these uh, the crap bullets at me that, <laughs> that I struggle to avoid. Wow! Ah! How did I stay alive? We don't care, he did! Let's go! What those bullets? Especially his. He's a git. Oh! Much better than I did last time, but uh, we're uh, going to struggle to make it through there. <clears throat> Any better than that. At my skill level. So this is a guy that took us out. We're now at him with three credits, two ships, and the... Uh, we're at him with three credits and one ship, and we'll see if we can kill him. Again, no SP attack. Puts me in a little bit of a bind. I do die quicker. Feels more like you're playing the PlayStation version now. Dying quick. <laughs> no, 
not on your nelly, mate. You still have a little longer. Oh, not that much longer. Excuse me, not that much longer. Okay, we'll go to RG2. Why not? We'll change ship every credit now. Just super there. That SP attack on the bus. Just so I can pick those power ups up. And probably immediately die. Oh, no, no. Oh, that was so close. We got him! We got him! The guy that took us down on the better version is de is is dealt with on their section two. Funky loading screen into the next level. Let's just see how far we can push it this time. But the verdict's out on this. The PlayStation 1 does perform vastly better to, than the Saturn version. I'm assuming when you get to this level on the PlayStation 1, it doesn't look a little better. But this game is still absolutely fantastic on whichever format you own it on. And just know that it's not cheaper to buy the Saturn version. That's all I know. Excellent shmup. Really badly played by another gamer. But, uh, oh, come on. I'm not deliberately trying to die here, guys. I have, uh, <laughs> I am really struggling at this. Lots of enemy patterns to learn, lots of bullet patterns to learn, and uh, not playing it for a long time really shows. We're down to two continues. Hopefully, we'll get off the boss of this level. I remember the boss of this level being an absolute nightmare. It's another uh, giant plane like we saw earlier, but he's armed to the teeth. He's got sort of every attack in the book. And he lets you know about it <laughs> rather, rather a lot. We'll see if we can make it to that boss. There we go. This is probably the best performance you get from the game as well. We've seen the worst on the previous level. This is probably the best you get out of the uh, game on here. It ran like this all the time. It's absolute joy. But uh, obviously... <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was brave. That was stupid. Brave and stupid. Yes, that's me. Back to RG1. Down to one continue, guys. Getting close to the end of uh, the end of my continues now. Oh, this guy's an absolute nightmare. Yeah, this is the guy. He's just armed to the teeth. Got these two little drones, they'll fire lasers. He'll dip down underneath and fire a load of homing lasers that I'm notorious for running into. And I'm sure he turns into like, like almost like a Gundam at the end. And yeah, yeah, this guy's tough. We'll see if we can beat him. I doubt we will. Because you can see the barrage of crap. <laughs> I don't know how I'm surviving this. Oh, there we go. He swept me. Bullet sweep like that ain't gonna uh, ain't gonna stand a chance. So we got rid of one of the drones and avoided some of the home. In, well, the uh, the lasers for a change. Got both the drones down. Let's get this guy. Let's get this guy. Because if you if if you take too long, the, he summons two more drones as well. So you have to be careful there. And then he goes into angry gun down mode. With his machine gun. I think I got rid of one of them. Oh, that was close. There we go, we got him. We got him. One credit left, one life left. We're to the next level. I'm pretty sure this is where we're going to get a game over. Awesome, shoot them all. Awesome, shoot them all. Better. Right, sorry. Judah Central System. These cool little intros are nice, so transitioning into each sort of level. Rather pointless on the grand scheme of things, but it is just eye candy. And at the time, video in games was, uh, was eye candy. There we go. Judah Central System, Cecilia. Okay. Let's wreak some havoc here or die trying. 
don't want the latter, but it uh, <laughs> looks like that's the way we're going. Try as I might. Love the soundtrack to this game. I swear, this is what put me onto this initially. I started humming some music out of nowhere, and it was doing my head in phrases where I'd heard it. Obviously, it was a, an earworm from years ago playing this game, uh, and it wasn't. It wasn't till uh, recently that I realised that. Oh, oh, oh! That was so close. This is even. No, uh, that's that's not close. Let's continue, guys. Let's do it. So we'll go back to the RG2. I'm not going to the uh, zero because I do like the idea of still having this SP attack. Just going to save my bacon a little bit. Lots of little tanks shooting at me now. I was homing lasers as well. We've really got the defences up on this uh, this little level here. Oh, <laughs> that was close. Right, the blue towers are definitely the ta oh, the towers I want to be taking out. Because they're the ones with the homing lasers. They're giving me such a hard time. Don't, 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 don't take me with you! There we go. Concentration increased like 1 million percent. And it wasn't worth it. Are we going to reach the boss of this stage? It's flipping unlikely, guys. Very unlikely. Ah! <laughs> this is it. This is it. The last life. The last life. And that game is test. Oh, oh. oh. Those turrets, because they're going to be a pain when we get down here. Oh, they're not the only pain! Ah! 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 Concentration! Concentration! Those towers, I won't stand a chance if I'm barraged by homing lasers and rockets. Get that guy. It's not a rocket tower, they get that guy. Ooh. That's it, now the camera's on the piss, guys. The game's gonna get serious. Very serious. Let's get rid of this guy. Oh, I think another one of them, and I'm a goner. No, 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 mate, we don't want you to shoot me. We want to live. Uh oh, no, now the game wants me to die, this too. So we don't stand much of a chance here. I'm just going to have to keep trying to avoid these. Oh, man. There we go. They rammed me to death, and that was it. And it looks like we've reached. Uh, Possibly the last crawl of the level there towards the end. So let's just put my initials in, see where it goes. And T. Yes. That to me looks very boss. Um, we just just about got to the boss of that level. Fantastic pair of games here. Um, player section two. Amazing shoot 'em up on the Saturn. Quite an expensive one to get hold of nowadays, uh, but fantastic nonetheless. But Honestly, guys, for about 25 to 30 quid, you can get yourself a playable copy of Ray Storm for the PlayStation, which is exactly the same game, minus a few cutscenes and one ship. That ship may be an unlockable extra, I'm not sure, because obviously I've only played this just now for having a blast. But this game is fantastic, guys. This game is better. Just remember that. I've been Nuts Gamer. This has been Ray Storm versus Layer Section. This one was better. Take care. Thanks for watching. I love you all. Like, subscribe, and share. Now see you next time.